So welcome to another Bootstrap 3 tutorial. In this video we are going to be creating the sidebar for our article page. So this is going to have similar articles or popular articles or recent articles. And it basically is a sidebar with loads of items. You can have as many items as you want. And they've got headers and paragraphs in them. So these are just short paragraphs, you know, sort of a short snappy introduction. Uh, so yeah, it's just like a summary paragraph there. And so this is what we're going to be creating. It's fairly simple. Uh, once we create created one, we can literally just copy and paste it for all the others. Uh, so yeah. So just head into our code. Uh, I'm using brackets, of course, as usual. Uh, so in the last video, we created this uh, div class row. And it's got all of our article stuff in it. And we had a column large 9. That's for our article. We're going to create a column large 3, which is going to go here. And so this is going to be div class equals col dash lg dash 3 and here this is where our actual sidebar is going to be so I'm going to put test in here and then go into our live preview and you see it says test up here in the right place so that's all good so in here now what we can do is start coding the actual sidebar uh, first we're going to have a div with a class equal to list dash group and then here we're going to have a a href equals hash and then this is also going to have a class this ahref is going to have a class equal to um, list dash uh, da dash group dash item and then if I put test in there save that and we come over here you see we're now getting these boxes with our item in it now we've got to put the formatting inside it and of course that was a link because we've got ahref and then inside here, we're going to have h4, and this is just going to say lorem ipsum, and we're also going to have a paragraph under here, and to save time, I'm just going to copy and paste something random. So now when we have a look here, we've got our heading, and we've also got our paragraph text, but we can also condense these down so they're a bit closer together. So to do this, we're going to add a class to the h4, and this is going to be list-group-item-heading. So there we go, that's a bit more condensed. Now we've got to do for the same for the text, uh, so I can actually just copy this, oh, copy this and paste it there. And for this we're going to put paragraph, uh, sorry, text. And if we have a look here, you see it's all looking good. So now we can quite literally just copy and paste this A tag multiple times. And there you go. That's it. These are all fully links. Uh, you can use these as you want. We can also add another class to this, which is a class of active. And you see, now it makes it blue because that is the article that we're currently reading. That's just effectively what that means. So because this is the article we're reading, it's highlighted. If we were reading this one, then it'd be highlighted. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, it was quite a short video, but there wasn't too much to explain. It's pretty much just copying and pasting from now. So uh, yeah, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe if you found it useful. And I'll see you in the next video.